What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. Okay, so I wanted to talk about a summoner who usually gets bashed a lot on this channel <laughs> and um, is currently sitting near the bottom of the list. Now, this is not a Chaos Legion summoner, but actually one from a previous set dice and that is the one and only kid yuff now i am wondering if there is a potential resurgence that could be in store for the summoner now i've used them a couple times and i found it to be handy in certain cases but ultimately just wasn't just wasn't what I needed whenever playing fire. When we look at our fire summoners, there always seem to be better options. And I'm not even including Yoden in this, um, but you know, Plato, uh, even Pyre to a certain extent could get you some speed. But for some reason, Kid Yuff just never seemed to click. And uh, his price really kind of dictates that. But with the upcoming meta that I believe is going to change very heavily in the next couple of weeks here, once we have the new legendary summoner, Grandmaster Wrath. Now, if you're not familiar with Grandmaster Wrath, I don't know if I have a picture up right now. I don't. But uh, with Grandmaster Wrath, you this is a legendary summoner, the first one that will be coming for Chaos Legion, and you get a plus one armor, you get void armor, as well as amplify. Now, I'm just going to take away the amplify for a second here and focus on the void armor and void. Now, the thing is, uh, I'm sorry, void armor and the plus one armor, because essentially what you are going to get is a very, very strong anti-magic team that to me i think could spell a lot of trouble for the you know your water teams and your uh green magic teams whatever or green and earth earth and water teams maybe even uh dragon to a certain extent but when we look across the board here no other summoner has been given that combination of abilities so a lot of times you will get a plus one uh armor um, but there's nobody that gives void armor, for example. So the, the what I'm trying to get at here is that whenever I play someone like a Peak Rider, for example, or a Tyrus, or a, let's go down here, oh, here's another Tyrus, uh, Drake of Arnak, if I know, or even Kelia, for example, if I know that I'll be going up against some kind of armor, I may choose to go with a magic heavy team to try to slip underneath it. Well, now that will no longer be the case. So the question is, how do you get a team that could make both armor as well as void armor somewhat redundant? And that to me says that there could be a resurgence for Kid Yuff. Now, with Kid Yuff, what I like about this card and is not necessarily the card itself. Obviously, the Pierce ability, I think, could could shine at least even just for the short term until we start to get more legendary summoners. But as a kind of foil or counter to Grandmaster Wrath, what I like about, uh, again, not necessarily Kid Yuff, but the Pierce ability that Kid Yuff gives is that when you look at Chaos Legion, there are a ton of really solid monsters that you can pair with Kid Yuff. Uh, and, and I'm talking about melee monsters specifically. So Forgotten One if you're not playing at the highest levels, so I, I mean, I guess you can get this in gold. You don't, you get Pierce at that point, which is nice. But uh, oh, sorry, let me go back to the market. But cards that I like as well, Tenyi Striker. So you know, you you'll be able to do three, four damage at, in gold. Um, and again, that will all that will pierce through. So getting that, getting higher damage up at those levels. Uh, Radiated Brute is another one that I think is underrated, especially with. Uh, enrage which you get at gold level as well because as soon as he gets tagged right as soon as he gets hit um, for any kind of damage all of a sudden he's doing five damage per turn without any additional buffs and five damage with additional speed as well as uh, as, as well as pierce I think could do a lot of damage up front not to mention you have 
cards like Grum Flame Blade, who can grow with <laughs> with the Bloodlust ability over time. So Pierce could definitely help there. And this support card, I, I'm a big fan of Tusk of the White, even though I don't play him very often. But you can make up the plus one armor or plus one melee damage that you would normally get with something like a Tarsa by adding in Tusk the Wide. So in a lot of situations, you could almost add Tusk the Wide in maybe as your tank to fight off against any magic that would be coming in and just have a good meat shield up front, throw in Radiated Brute behind, as well as, you know, maybe maybe someone like Uraeus as well, right? Uraeus, uh, there's a slew of other cards. I'm really just looking at Chaos and even Chaos Legion Rewards if we want to take a look at, uh, at some of those. Um, so Exploding Rats is another great one here. Where is it? Uraeus, for those who aren't familiar. Uraeus, I'm a big fan of, and you get the poison. So when I look at this and I think, okay, well, there's there's a lot of functionality here that could be used, at least in the short term, to get past Grandmaster Wrath. And I wonder if there will be, as I'm saying, like a resurgence or a utility for this summoner. Now, to be very, very clear with you guys, I am not buying him. <laughs> I do not want to invest however much I need to, to play at the highest levels. Right now, you can get a maxed out version for $318. You can get a maxed gold version, so level 6 here, for $184. What I would probably do and what I'm planning on doing is whenever I have a fire, uh, fire um, focus for the day, I may choose to get just rent Kid Yuff in that uh, in that sense and see how it plays out. But again, as, as we're looking for potentially long-term solutions here to Grandmaster Wrath, it, he might just be the one. He might just be the one. Now, we'll have to wait and see what other uh, summoner abilities we get, both with, keep this in mind, both with the Chaos Legion Legendary Summoners as well as the upcoming Rift Watcher Summoners. And that is speculation because we have not heard or gotten conf confirmation that there will be additional summoners with, uh, with Rift Watchers. But seeing as we had one for each with dice, I wouldn't be surprised if we had the same or something similar for Rift Watchers as well. Keep in mind that land is coming out and land most likely in one shape or another is going to be put out before uh, or something, sorry, after uh, Rift Watchers. And so therefore, that's going to require a lot of summoners to work the land. And the way that we're looking at the numbers now, there there aren't enough. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get more summoners at that point and then more summoners when Rebellion comes out, which I'm, I'm, which I'm anticipating Rebellion to come out after land. So it's... It'll be Rift Watchers, Land, and then Rebellion, um, at which point we could get a ton more summoners. But you get what I'm saying, right? Now, the reason that I think that this could be short-lived is twofold. The first of which is that when we get a potential uh, Fire Legendary Summoner, which is going to be the second one slated, um, then... That might just that might just trump everything. If that ends up being the better buy or the better uh, one to go for at that point in time and just have better overall abilities, then Kid Yuff might get relegated. The other thing, too, is that keep in mind in the future, there may not be uh, only fire or uh, splinter focused uh, daily daily focuses, right? They want to add in other things, like they used to have the snipe and sneak quest. They want to add in things that uh, require other abilities. So when people don't feel the need to spam fire, then maybe they don't need to have Kid Yuff. And Kid Yuff is probably just going to be relegated to the highest levels for players that want the most versatility when it comes to their decks, right? If you see someone spamming uh, a lot of armor or specifically Grandmaster Wrath in the future and you have Kid Yuff in your disposal, why wouldn't you consider using him? But would you go out of your way to get him? I don't know. I think that remains to be seen. But this is a card I'll be watching. And like I said, to be very clear, this is not financial advice. This is game advice and fun financial advice. I will just be watching Kid Yuff's price and value. And I do plan on renting him once Grandmaster Wrath is out to see how he performs against him at gold level and then maybe up in diamond uh, plus where I'm hoping to be at at some point later this season. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, I'm not seeing many other summoners that can kind of counter Grandmaster Wrath and Grandmaster Wrath's kind of hold. <laughs> I, I think Grandmaster Wrath has the potential to be game-changing in many ways. Um, and so I, I'm not seeing any other summoners that would be a good counter 
in the sense of actually being a counter versus just being an overpowered summoner, right? So someone like a Yoden, someone like a Kitty, or someone like a Llama. Um, so I'm excited to see what this will bring, how it will shift the meta. And uh, Kid Yef is the one that sticks out to me right now. So let me know your thoughts. I will catch you all in the next video, and I will see you around the game. Take care.